So last video we kind of left off uh, not having our trunnion table and deciding to mill it ourselves and that's what we worked on basically for all of last week. Um, we got in the materials and all the stuff that we needed and this video is kind of to show you guys the process of making our trunnion table. Um, it, it's a little bit of step by step. Um, we try to show as much of the milling as we can. Unfortunately our GoPro sort of died. Um, part way through, uh, although we got a lot of footage. So I'll chime in then uh, and let you guys know when that happens. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Just showing off a bit of uh, what we're gonna be using to make this trunnion table. So we have a bunch of stuff here, uh, these strap clamps, uh, a bunch of rods, nuts, things like that. This is gonna hold down our vise when we have to turn it sideways. You'll see that a little bit later. Um, these are standoffs for our strap clamps, uh, some spacers for holding the vise sideways. This is our side spindle itself, uh, made by Yukiwa, the same company that makes our uh, rotary table. We're going to be locating on this precision ring here uh, and screwing into these four holes. So later we're going to have to walk out a bore that fits this perfectly. Uh, this is exactly 40 millimeters. Uh, we have a hand tap here. We're going to be doing some uh, hand tapping with this half inch 20 tap. So it should be easy enough, especially with this tap magic. This is just a tapping fluid, a cutting fluid. Uh, make sure that we don't break the tap, that everything goes well. Uh, this is just my coffee. Might be a bit of a long day, so looking forward to it. Uh, this training table is built out of three parts. Uh, this first part is going to be the rotary adapter. So we're building the adapter that is going to uh, clamp into this laying uh, quick point fixture plate. So we are going to uh, do this first operation here. The two critical parts of this are two half inch dowel pins um, that we are going to have to measure against the actual dowel pins that we have that kind of walk out slowly. So we'll try to get some machining footage of this. Might get a face full of coolant, but so it goes. This is going to be the uh, side of the table that um, uh, that connects to a uh, side spindle support, uh, support adapter, support spindle basically, that's going to be off to the side to make sure that uh, the trunnion table is supported on both sides, the rotary side and the side spindle. So that's what we're working on now. You're milling it out of a big chunk of uh, three inch square stock. So we've done the first operation on our side spindle and rotary um, adapters. Now we are going to do the second op. We are going to be making a fixture plate to locate and hold both of these parts. So we need to make sure that all of our features on the other side of this are perfectly uh, parallel to this face. So we are going to locate on two dowel pins. We'll face this off, put two dowel pins in here, put some taps so that we can hold the part down. We're going to start by putting uh, screws through these four holes mill out some half inch bores, drop um, uh, drop big half inch screws in there, and then finish up the rest of this part. And we're gonna do the exact same thing for the uh, rotary fixture attachment. So we'll see how that goes. That has very, very little movement, which is good. 
All right, so the first thing we're going to do is finish these counter boards so that we can put our half inch screws in and then actually remove these and then finish up the top. So these are just temporary so that we can do our uh, counter boards for our half inch screws first. So let's do this. So unfortunately these two bores on the back ended up being undersized compared to the front ones because the feed was just up way too fast when we started going in. So these don't quite fit. I was able to like kind of force that one in, but we might have to just do this second up on this part with uh, just three screws, which I think will be fine because all we're doing is finishing up a couple of bores. Um, See, so it goes in there and then it's just kind of, as I kind of force it through, I actually think I might be able to get Maybe not, because it's just not going through. I might be able to tap it through with a hammer, but then I'm kind of worried about being able to get it out again afterwards. So um, we might just not do it with this, with this third screw, which I, I really think is fine. So this is probably the trickiest operation, um, or at least the one I'm least looking forward to of doing this table. We have to mill these two sides. And the tricky bit is that we really don't have a lot of clearance. Um, this is, yeah, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be hard, but I think that we have a decent solution. We're going to have to sand this up here sideways, and we're going to be holding it by the vise. So you're going to have to take the vise off and then actually clamp it down sideways uh, so that we can hold this from the side and then mill both ends of this. We're gonna mill the first end first in the vise, and then we're actually gonna remove the vise um, and use our Lang zero point clamping system in order to mill the other side and ensure that it is uh, perfectly aligned with the first side that we mill. Um, but that's what we're gonna do right now. So around here is when our GoPro died, uh, which means that unfortunately we didn't get any shots of the tombstone itself being milled, which is a pretty big bummer. Luckily we did get good footage of everything coming together, so hopefully you didn't miss out on too much. Look at that, all right. Now we're talking. 
So our final operation for the trunnion table uh, is going to be done on this Lang uh, clamping pallet. Um, this receiver pallet will eventually be on the trunnion table itself, but for now we are going to strap clamp it down to our table. Um, we are going to use this precision ground gauging pallet to align it perfectly so that we know that the plate is square with the table. And then we are going to pick up this bore uh, to get our zero point and actually use the face of the laying plate to be our zero for this next operation. That way we know that the face at the other end of the trunnion table um, is going to be perfectly in line with the uh, mounting side of the trunnion table, the, the um, rotary axis uh, adapter that's going to be screwing into this laying plate that's over on our rotary right now. Uh, we know that everything will be perfectly square, perfectly in line, uh, and we won't have to uh, basically guess where everything should go. It's her.